Hi everyone, and happy Friday to you. It is the end of the week edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. We haven't had any major winter storms this week. We're going to get through this week without a major winter storm. We'll get through next week without a major winter storm. Maybe things are kind of settling down for the uh, winter season. I don't want to rule out one or two more impactful winter events before the season is through, but uh, nothing is coming over the next handful of days that is particularly worrisome if uh, winter weather is not your thing. I know there are some snow lovers still out there even after a long couple of months in which a lot of us are ready to turn the page into springtime. It's still a reminder when you look at our high-res satellite picture today that it's only early March because a lot of our shallow local lakes are still frozen over, of course. Here's Mosquito Lake, Sandy Lake, Pima Tuning. The ice coverage on Lake Erie is less than it was earlier this winter, but it's still at a pretty robust 50% or so. When we uh, talk about Lake Erie and the Great Lakes as a whole, ice coverage looks like this right about half and half. 51.3 is where we stand on the Great Lakes right now. Plenty of open water in Lake Michigan, interior areas of Lake Huron as well, and a lot of Lake Ontario, which is very, very deep, is ice free. But the shallowest Great Lake is Lake Erie, and so no surprise, especially in the central and eastern part of the basin, we still have a decent amount of tenuous ice. Now, the ice is not long for this world, especially with many places hitting 70 coming up on Sunday. We're going to see a lot of thawing over the next couple of days. It's possible that this morning will be our coldest morning until next winter. Possible? I wouldn't guarantee it, but it's possible. We made it to 14 at the airport this morning. We might hit the teens a couple of times next weekend into early in the following week. Whether we get all the way down to 14 remains to be seen, but yeah, that was a pretty cold start to the day. We picked up 2 minutes and 43 seconds of daylight today, bringing us up to 11 hours and 25 minutes. We're gaining 2 minutes and 43 seconds per day right now, but starting on the 13th and taking us through like the 24th, uh, we reach our peak daylight gain at 2 minutes 45 seconds per day. We're in the middle of the time of the year, of course, in which we gain daylight very quickly, but the absolute peak is coming up in about uh, 8 or 9 days, and it lasts about 10 or 11 days. And by April 1st, we'll be up to 12 hours, 42 minutes worth of daylight. Again, 11 hours, 25 minutes of daylight to enjoy today. All right, as we uh, head into our Saturday, one thing I'll be watching on the model trends uh, as we uh, go through the next few hours is we might have to allow for a quick sprinkle or a shower tomorrow morning along our warm front. I don't think it's a big deal, but yeah, it's something that we'll be watching out for. And uh, then more substantial rain comes our way. Sunday morning, we'll talk more about the weekend forecast in a, uh, a moment, but I just wanted to kind of bring up that maybe we don't get away completely without rain on Saturday. We might have to allow for a sprinkle or a shower in the morning hours. Our big weather maker is out here across the western U.S., and they are loving it. They really need the wet weather in California, parts of the desert southwest, the Four Corners region. This is the low-pressure system that will scoot eastward and drag in all of the warmth and pick up some gulf moisture, and as it does so, It'll bring rain east. It'll bring a severe weather threat to the east. The Storm Prediction Center for Saturday into Saturday night does have a slight risk of severe weather from Omaha up towards the Quad Cities and into extreme southwestern parts of Wisconsin. By Sunday, the severe weather sh uh, threat shifts to the south, down across parts of the Ozarks and over towards Memphis, Cape Girardeau, maybe as far south and west as Dallas. And then by Monday, the threat will shift a little farther south and east to include more Mississippi and Alabama Tennessee as well. Severe weather is not likely around here. The sun's going to come out tomorrow afternoon. When it comes out, the temperature will skyrocket. Now, our best rain chances over the weekend will be Sunday morning. First thing in the morning. I mean, this might be gone already by 8 a.m., but it's possible early risers will encounter a few rain showers Sunday morning. By Sunday afternoon, the sun is out, and as soon as the sun comes out, the wind is going to pick up in a hurry as the atmosphere becomes well mixed. We have wind energy only four or 5,000 feet above our heads, uh, wind gusts up at that level, you know, 70, 80 miles per hour. It's not going to take much to bring some of that wind energy down. The sun comes out, you get atmospheric mixing, you get air parcels rising, some falling, and we'll probably see some gusts that will be pretty impressive for Sunday afternoon. This uh, cold front comes through later in the afternoon. Maybe there's a skinny band of showers along that, but once we get done with the showers very early in the day, Sunday, most of the rest of the daylight hours should be rain-free. All right, in the wake of our front, uh, a warm front will try to lift northward on Monday, but it's only going to come so far to the north. It's still going to be pretty mild Monday around and south of I-70. 
This far to the north and east, I think we're in the colder air. Now, it's not going to be in the 20s, but it'll be the 40s, which will be a big change after we hit 70 on Sunday. And also, some rain seems pretty likely now. Our, our in-house model here suggests that we have some mixed precipitation nearby early Monday morning. I think this is a little too far to the south, but I guess I wouldn't be surprised if we had some sort of mixing up towards I-90, closer to, say, Geneva on the lake, and... Ashtabula and heading up towards Erie, something like that. But for our TV viewing area, I think this is just a chilly rain for the start of the day on Monday. Again, the gusts will be frisky Sunday morning, but the highest winds will be Sunday afternoon. Once the sun comes out, the wind will then diminish pretty quickly by evening. 62 is not a record Saturday. The record highs on Saturday are like in the upper 70s. But the record high Sunday is much lower hanging fruit. It's only 69 degrees. So I think we'll at least tie it, maybe even break it by a degree or two. It's going to be very May-like on Sunday. Unfortunately, it's not going to last. If you've been watching my videos of late, you know a big change is coming next week. As far as the rainfall totals late Sunday night into at least the first half of the day Monday, they could be pretty impressive. We might have to concern ourselves with rises on local streams and creeks and rivers. Some of our modeling here would suggest well over an inch. European models closer to an inch. I think a good inch to an inch and a half uh, at the top end. I think some of these numbers are a little too high on some of the modeling right now. But I think around an inch to maybe an inch and a half does seem pretty likely. The next two Sundays will be, it's pretty crazy how different they'll be. It'll be 27 degrees warmer than average this Sunday. And then the following Sunday, when daylight saving time returns, it'll be about 15 degrees colder than the average. We might have a hard time getting above 30 or 32 next Sunday. This Sunday we're closer to 70. Hey, it's March in eastern Ohio and western PA. This is not something that uh, is all that unique to this year. March can f feature a lot of these big time swings. The analog is kind of in the fall season, October. You can have an 80 degree day in October. You can have a day where it struggles to get above 40 within 10 days of each other. Um, that's pretty common at that time of the year. It's also common at this time of the year. Hey, make it a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight and throughout the week. I will see you right back here on Monday.